Hi Libra, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. We're gonna be getting you some messages today, but before I do that, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me in through the nose and out through the mouth. Here we go. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is pull you some angel numbers. Let's see what comes out. And also, I would appreciate it if you tell me if you like these angel numbers, if I should continue pulling them. I really haven't had much feedback on them, so I don't know if you guys, if it's worth it, if you if you guys enjoy them. Um, if they have meaning to you, then I will, of course, continue to do so. But if not, um, we can always skip this step. But anyway, here's your angel number for today. And zero. So one, two, seven is your angel number. Give me a second, I'm gonna write that down. I will be right back with your cards. Okay, Libra, let's see what cards came out for you today. We have King of Cups, King of Swords, mm -mm, Eight of Wands, Five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. All right, at least the ending is fantastic. Let's see. So, the King of Cups is somebody who's loving and emotionally balanced and um, loyal, charming, compassionate. So, someone who has an awareness of self, which is really good, right? And then we have the King of Swords coming in. So, normally I would probably read this as two people, but this is a Libra reading. I really feel like this is still your energy. I think you're in between both energies here. The King of Swords has mental clarity, intellect, um, you know, somebody who thinks rationally. So, I don't know here. I don't know why I'm picking this up, but this I'm getting like you, there was some kind of a mistake you made in the past something maybe not a mistake but something that went wrong something that wasn't right and now you see clearly like you see things for what they were you you understand um maybe the mistakes that you made um and the mistakes the other person made i don't know why i'm getting that but that's what i'm getting from these cards I feel like there is communication that should be coming in or maybe you should be reaching out to somebody, but there's some kind of communication that needs to happen. I feel like it could be an apology or just like a conversation to make things right because you are suffering a loss. You're grieving something here. There's, there's something that you, um, you're feeling, you know, you're feeling the loss of it. You're grieving it. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking that like, oh, this loss, like it, it could have led you to your 10 of pentacles. And I'm not saying that you can't have your 10 of pentacles. Now, 10 of pentacles is money. It's, it's financial stability. It's abundance. And I'm feeling like whatever you lost, whatever you're grieving would have led to that. And I'm feeling like it was like some kind of a relationship, whether it would be a romantic relationship or a business partnership. And I feel like you just see things clearly now, you know, like, wow, I don't want to say you're, you're regretting your actions, but you're kind of in this place where like I see things clearly like I if I would have done this I would have had a better result or if or if that person would have done that we would have had a better result something something along those lines I don't don't know why I'm getting that but um that's the story I feel very strongly about so I'm gonna stick to it Let's see. I mean, it's still quite possible you're, you're going to have financial stability, but let's just, uh, 
Let's get some more cards. Let's see where this is going. Mm. Yep, five of pentacles. You're that's like a loss of that's either a loss of finances or that's a it's like another loss. That's uh you feeling alone, left out in the cold, feeling left behind, feeling you're feeling a loss here. Um and seven of wands says that you feel like you had to stand your ground, like you feel like you have to defend yourself and you have to feel you feel like you have to defend your decisions right now. And now that's all well and good if you believe that you made the right decisions for you. Um, you know, so yeah, I, I want you to stand up for yourself if if you feel like you made the right decision, but I'm kind of feeling like there's a little bit of a, a regret, I guess. I. Maybe not regret, but just a little bit of, of defensiveness. Does that make sense? A little bit of a, you know, well, if they didn't do this, I wouldn't have done that. And it would have worked out. Like, kind of like you have to defend yourself. And um, I don't know if that's, I don't know. Anyway, it looks like there is new passion coming in for you. I think your passion can be reignited. I think something new is about to start for you. I do feel like um, things are going to return to balance. So justice will be served in some way, shape, or form. So if you acted correctly and the, somebody wronged you, then the balance will be restored right back to your favor. However, if you wrong somebody balance is also going to restore that balance where, you know, you might feel it now, right? You might be feeling the pain a little bit now because, um, things were off balance and the universe has to, you know, right itself. But I, I do feel like there's money coming in. I do feel like you are, something's going to light a fire inside of you again. There's, there's, um, there's hope here. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want this to be a negative reading here. Um, you know, the King of Cups is, is, you know, a kind, generous person. And that's what I feel like you are. I just feel like you're grieving. I feel the loss. Like, I feel a loss from this. Like, the energy, that's how I'm feeling. Like, that's what I'm picking up on. All right. I don't know how I, I don't know. I keep repeating myself and I hate repeating myself. I'm looking for the words to describe myself better, to describe the feelings I'm feeling better. Believe in yourself. See yourself doing well and you will. Okay, so your confidence is shaking a little bit here because, you know, something didn't work out right. So you you do have a little bit of a confidence issue and uh they want you to start believing in yourself again and once you do i feel like this new passion will come in octopus practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms so this is just saying try different things. Try different approaches to um, solve the problems. This is saying that they don't want you to repeat what you did before. They want you to do things differently. They want you to shape shift. They want you to change. Um, and, you know, if you believe in yourself and you believe in what you're doing and you believe in what you're standing up for yourself for, um, things should work out for you. Like you'll be able to make the changes necessary to have a positive outcome. I oh, don't know what my dog's barking at now. It's eight o'clock at night.
The lady of the gift. Generosity receiving withholding. Hmm. Okay, so this card is... It's the... It's kind of like the charity card a little bit where... You know how they say you should give 10% back to the church? 10% of your earnings back to the church? Well, in the spirit world... Um, you don't have to do that. It doesn't have to be material things. Um, but they want you to be more generous and more giving. Hang on. All day people have been coming and going in this house. And I've had to get all the readings done today because I have a big event this weekend. I won't be home to post. So I have to get the readings done so I can post while I'm away. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. But anyway, this card also wants you to pay attention to how you treat people. You know, and be mindful of your perceptions. You know, like if you are not feeling very good about a certain person who, whoever this caused this, you know, loss, this five of cups up there, um, you know, like if you see them as successful and abundant and act as if you believe that they have value, then then blessings will come to you as well, right? Your beliefs in others have greater value than you can imagine. So it, it's like you have to see the good in others in order for the good to come to you. So this is saying don't be generous with your um, forgiveness. Um, don't withhold any love or... Uh, just positive feelings towards people because they want you to feel positive towards them so they can feel positive towards you. You like attracts like, right? So, and people do mirror each other. So, you know, what you don't like in somebody else is probably what you don't like in yourself as well. That's hard to admit though. So, um, you know, they're just saying, <sighs> you can only keep what you're willing to give right? So if you're generous with people, with your love, with your attention, with your time, even with your resources, um, then you'll get that back, right? And if you're not, if you're stingy, well, guess what? People are going to be stingy with you. So there you go. That's what that card means. <laughs> let's get a, let's get some more cards here. Love yourself first. Didn't I say that you have a self-confidence issue? Your self-confidence took a hit. And um, they want you to heal that. They want you to believe in yourself. They want you to love yourself. If you love yourself, then others will love you too. world is born. Okay. So, okay. That's kind of what I was saying. A new cycle is, co uh, uh, is coming about. Okay. So something is ending. A new cycle is beginning. So here's your chance. Here's your chance to start fresh. Here's your chance to believe in yourself, have the confidence, love yourself, know what you want, right? So that you can have this new passion that's coming in and you can have your 10 of pentacles. It's a chance to be whatever you want to be and do whatever you want to do. This is a, this is your chance now to make the changes necessary and to heal what needs to be healed and to forgive what needs to be forgiven and start fresh and start, you know, with a new lease on life, like a new vigor, a new passion, basically. Your commitment is being tested. So, yeah, they, they want you to... They want you to know what you want. They want you to believe in yourself. And uh, 
your commitment to your dreams and your goals is, you know, being tested. Are you being too prideful? Are you being um, too egotistical? Um, are you holding on to things that no longer serve you? That's what I'm. That's what I mean by they're they're testing you. They're they're giving you a test here. What does the universe want you to do? What do your angels and guides want? They want you to be love and light. They want you to be unconditional love. That's what source is, and that's what we all should be, right? Because that's we're we're made from source. So you know, as humans, that's really hard to do because we have egos. Um, but that's your goal. Your goal is to be a good person. And your commitment to that's being tested. Sorry, had to cough again. All right, I'm going to get you a love card. Healing. This doesn't surprise me. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So, yeah, whatever relationship was in trouble, um, it, it needed some healing, right? So, believe in it. Believe in yourself. Um, love yourself and love your person. And everything should work out okay. Surround yourselves with white light. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to get you a white light oracle card next. What do you know? I'm going to have to read from the book. So give me a second. Let me pull that, pull it. Pearl of Sharrow. Let's see. Let's see what it says. It says, taking responsibility for your experiences empowers you. You're going to resolve an issue through spiritual inspiration and higher guidance. So your angels are going to nudge you to um, resolve an issue. You will rise up in full connection to your spirit and access a wealth of divine treasure. That which has brought dark darkness into your world shall submit to the light and be transformed. So whatever hurt you is going to be brought back into the light and you're going to forgive and you're going to let it go. And you're going to see a positive in it somehow, some way. They're going to help you do that. Have courage and commitment to your awakening because you're being tested right now, right? For you are a precious being and can go on and can go far on the spiritual path this lifetime. So they, they believe in you. So you need to start believing in yourself now. So it's basically saying that, you know, it's a time for healing. There might have been some mistakes that made. Maybe there's some behavior that you're not proud of. and But you know it. You recognize it. And that's the first step. And now the next step is to heal it. And then let it go. And then you should be free. Look, somebody is definitely smitten with you. So that's good. And you are going in the right direction. Your angels and guides are definitely here helping you out with this right? The book of love is here. So that I, I feel like you are dealing with a soulmate, um, some way for those of you who have a soulmate, um, now and need to heal that relationship. I feel like it's going to be healed. Look at this. Um, for those of you who don't have a relationship, I feel like one is coming in. Somebody's going to like that passion inside of you, but you have to love yourself first. You have to forgive yourself. So, and I think you do that by just being you, right? There's definitely something you're still not seeing completely, something you're still confused about, something that's still hidden from you. But I feel like your angels and guides are, are going to um, shine light on it, shine light on it, so you will understand. Well, luck is on your side, and they're giving you the power to step into your own power. You know, you're a leader. Put that crown on your head. And be wise. Make wise decision. That's the owl charm. I think that is all I have. Oh, resol the last charm is resolutions. There you go. Um, so make a commitment to something and stick to it. And see it through to the end. Whatever it is. Whatever's for your highest good there. Alright, Libra. That is all I have for you. 
I do feel like some kind of communication's coming in. And um, I feel like you should take the opportunity to make the situation right. Some way, somehow. Even if it's just letting it go. You know? I feel like that, that, that would bring balance back to your life. And uh, would help you. An awful lot. But you do have new passion coming in. So I'm excited for you for that. All right, Libra, I hope this resonated. If it did, give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that does help me and um, makes me very grateful. Thank you. And until next time, love and light.